For a while, the Blue AP Royal Oak has been one of the hottest 41mm Blue Dow Steel Sport watches. Only about a year ago did the VC overseas start to challenge it, with the Blue 4500V experiencing a sudden and meteoric rise in popularity despite being launched 5 years ago. The question is, how do these two Holy Trinity watches stack up against each other? Before we dive into the review, let me preface that the Overseas is my own watch which I've worn extensively for over a year. While the Royal Oak belongs to a friend, I wore a Black Dow 15400 for 6 years and I'm very familiar with the platform. With that out of the way, let's get started on areas where the AP is better. To me, the Royal Oak has always been about the bracelet. It's so good that I've often wondered why AP hasn't become a bracelet accessory company instead. While the overseas bracelet is similar in quality and finishing, there is one significant factor that makes the RO bracelet better. That is taper. The Royal Oak bracelet tapers quite aggressively from the lugs, giving the watch a sharper and more elegant profile. In contrast, the overseas feels chunkier on the bracelet, despite sharing the same case diameter. To get a bit scientific, the first link of the Royal Oak bracelet is 2mm wider than that of the overseas, while the final link of the Royal Oak bracelet is 2mm slimmer. Do note that the straps of the overseas have a similar lack of taper too. Another way in which the RO is superior is in terms of movement functionality. Specifically, the 15500's Calibre 4302 features hacking and an instant date change. This is true for the Calibre 3120 in the 15400 generation too. Hacking and instant date change provide negligible functionality improvements. Yet, my OCD self does appreciate the features and wish the overseas could include them too. On the dial side, finishing and design is mostly on par and comes down to preference. The key difference is the date window. With the overseas, the date window features what looks like a Microsoft Office font on a white background. The Royal Oak integrates its date window much more seamlessly by matching the background color to the dial. The final point I want to discuss is less tangible. I have to say that the Royal Oak is a more aspirational watch than the Overseas. This comes down to the brand status as well as the people wearing their watches. The Royal Oak is a mark of success, and wearing it will likely earn you more recognition from others. That can be a bit of a shame, since although I think the Overseas is the better watch of the two, it will probably never be quite as popular as it's not as much of a status symbol. With that said, Here's why I prefer the Overseas. Jumping off my previous point, I enjoy how the Overseas flies under the radar. I often don't wear watches that are loud, which the Disco Ball RO bracelet is the epitome of. This is partially due to the industry I work in, as well as the fact that I often travel to Malaysia. Wearing such a flashy and recognizable watch would put me at risk. But let's get straight to the point. I think that the Overseas Blue Lacquer Dao is much nicer than the Pale Blue Tapissery Dao on the Royal Oak. Under poor lighting conditions, both look similarly bad, but under brighter light, I strongly prefer the Overseas. The Blue Lacquer Dao shows an intense dark blue with a smooth sunburst effect. In contrast, the RO Blue Dao becomes messy under bright sunlight due to the tapissery texture. Also, the VC's blue dial is more than just the underlying blue lacquer. The inner minute track and banked outer minute track are both distinctly different to the base lacquered portion, giving the dial a lot of added complexity. Next is the added versatility of the quick exchange strap system. Looking back, it's remarkable that VC released this in 2016 while it took until 2021 for AP to launch a similar system for its Royal Oak Offshore. There are even aftermarket options now for overseas straps, such as those from Deluxe, which opens up a new world of looks for owners. 
Finally, I feel like the Overseas is more of a true sports watch than the Royal Oak. I'm more comfortable wearing the Overseas for swimming, cycling, or other weekend activities. This is partially thanks to being able to easily switch on a rubber strap. On the flip side, the Royal Oak feels more delicate and only has 50 meters of water resistance. It's also much more of a scratch magnet than the Overseas due to the abundance of brushed surfaces, which show damage more clearly than polished surfaces. To summarize, I personally prefer the Overseas looks, versatility, and image. But before I end the video, here are three things I didn't really discuss since they're quite neutral between the two watches. The first is the case back. While I think the overseas case back looks better, the difference is relatively marginal. I also don't think anyone buys these watches just to stare at the case back through a high magnification loop, so the small difference in finishing is not particularly noteworthy. Next is reliability. I think this generally varies from watch to watch. I've sporadically heard of issues with both watches and have had such experiences with my own overseas and Royal Oak. What I will say though is that VC's servicing is far better than that of AP in Singapore. The final point is pricing and availability, at least locally. If I were making this video a year ago, the narrative would be completely different as the overseas was still easy to buy. But now it's become near impossible. The waitlist for the overseas seems to stretch on for eternity. And since the boutique doesn't openly practice bundling as far as I'm aware of, there's no choice but to wait and pray. The Royal Oak is arguably more of a nightmare, as it's impossible to get without first buying some junk like a Code 1159. Thank you for watching this video. As my thoughts revolve around my personal tastes and experiences, do let me know in the comments if you have differing thoughts. If you would like to see more, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. The support means a lot to me and there's some really exciting stuff coming soon. Do also follow my Instagram where I regularly post content.